Hi there, this is Mr. Carpenter. I'm going to show you how we're going to scan some papers using an app called HP Smart. So HP Smart is an app that you can get for your mobile device. In this case, I have an iPad as well as your phone or iPod or such like that. OK, so on your device, you're going to go and search for HP scan and look for an app that looks like this, like this icon I have on the screen right here. So we're going to open up that app and be able to have it do some things you can say welcome and you can press continue here and you don't want a notification from hp smart don't allow that do you want to make smart better you say no to that and then it wants to look for your local device don't allow it to do that because we don't want it to do that alrighty on this screen here we see that this can be used with our printer we can use it with our printer and many different things but all where I'm interested in here is the camera scan right here alright so I'm gonna press the orange camera scan and it's gonna to ask to access the camera and I will allow it to do so alright so now the camera can see what we're looking at. I've got my papers over here like this, and I'm gonna line my papers up nicely on my table so that they're nicely aligned in a stack just like that. And I will come up here like this, and I'm going to scan and take a picture of this with the button on the left-hand side right there. So taking a picture of that. What you see it do is it goes and finds the cropped ed the edges around the paper. Even though it's a trapezoidal shape, it finds those and it's going to straighten that out. I'm going to press next on my tablet right up here. Press next and it straightens it out all the way to the extents of the edge of the piece of paper that's there. If I want one more. I'm going to press plus here. I'm going to take the top piece of paper off of here. And this is like a page of work that I'm going to scan. I'm going to come up here like this and scan it, say, from the side. You don't want to have a shadow over top of your work, all right? You, I'll show what happens when I do that. I'm going to take a picture with a shadow, and it will go and find the extents of my paper. I'll press Next. But then there's this shadow across the bottom corner of my work, which doesn't really look really good, okay? So I will press the X to get rid of that up here. Press the X. And I will come and press plus again on the screen, come out to the side and scan, take a picture like that. It goes and finds the edges of it, kind of like that. I press next and this is what I've got. Alrighty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this out. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to press, I'm going to swipe backwards and forwards to take a look at my documents. If I touch on this one right here, I can do some things with it. I could recrop it down here with the cropping tool right in the bottom down here. Okay, right down here, I can press the cropping tool. I can apply different filters to it in the middle. So if I press the filter in the middle, I can look at my document or photos that's there, and I have different black and white filters that I can use. Important to use something that's black and white, all right? because that will allow us to get all the grays out and change the colors of our page. I'll say done that's there and press done one more time in the top corner up there. All right, say no thanks to that one. And I can see both of my documents right here. All right, I'm going to now share. Now this is how I'm going to get it out so that I can get it into my Google Drive and be able to share it with myself so that I can see my work in my Google Drive that allows me to do something else, okay? So I'll bring this up. I'm gonna go find my Google Drive here so I can see it. I'm going to go to my recent folder so that I see the things that I have done last at the very top here. I'm gonna, on the iPad over here on the left-hand side, I'm gonna press the share button and you want it to be something useful. So I'm gonna give it a name and call it HP Smart. H P H P. Oh, she's talking to me. Smart. Smart. Demo. 
and I'm going to change the format here. You want the format to be a PDF file. PDF file like this right here so that I can use it. Press this back arrow right here. And then I want the size to be medium. Press the medium. That'll make the file size a little bit smaller. All right. I press share and save. And it'll say, where do you want to send it? You could save it to your files on your iPad right here. You could copy the link of it, but you don't have it signed in, so you can't do that. I'm gonna come across here until I find my Google Drive right here, okay? It brings a pop-up window. There's the name of the document. I need to select a user, and this is where you're going to sign in to your uh, Google Drive. I will pause this for a moment so that I can type in my username and password. All right, so once I've typed in my username and password, I'll press next here and it will say, this is Mr. Carpenter at Learn34. I can find a spot in my Google Drive to put it and put it in a specific folder. But for right now, I'm just gonna put it in my Google Drive and press upload. Over on the left, right-hand side of the screen over here, take a look and watch what happens once we upload this, okay? It should refresh and look at that. There's the HP Smart demo that I just finished. The picture that I took all right so from here I can double click on it and look at the work that I did we have two pages pages one and two of this document I can now use this in my Google Drive I can take and I can download this to my computer so I'm downloading it to my computer to get it onto my computer and then once it's on my computer I will go like this I can put it on my desktop so that I can go and use it and find and use it for uploading, say, to an assignment in Moodle, or I could use it to put into an email or something like that. All right, so that's the using HP Smart app on a mobile device to record. So hope you enjoyed that and hope you learned something. Thanks. Bye.